a lot of times I feel as though, you know, us women, we think it's supposed to be all about us and satisfying us and pleasing us. But no, honey, when you got a king, you need to make sure that he stays satisfied and happy. Just how he, when you want him to make sure that you're satisfied and happy, since you need to make sure he's satisfied and happy. Because it's not too many good ones out there, but it is some. Broken into pieces, all because of you. What's happening in? What's happening in? It's your favorite, Tisha Rozelle, and today I am back with another creation. All right, men, kings, today y'all gonna like this video because y'all be swearing I be going in about men. No, it's just fuckboys I go in about because I had so many experiences with them. But today it's not about them. It's about y'all, kinks and ladies. We need to understand that it's not all about us. Men need things to keep them happy too. Men, notice I said men, men and kings, they need to be catered to too. So today is going to be six reasons or six tips and tricks on how to keep your king happy, satisfied, interested. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times us women, we get complacent in relationships too. Yeah, I said it. We get complacent. We be walk around with our meek meals every time he come home or, you know, we don't cook him dinner. Not saying you got to do that every night, but, you know, like, if your man been out there grinding, your king been out there grinding, let him come home to a hot plate, baby. So, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your sister, your brother, your auntie, your, your mother, y'all, law that you really don't like, but you deal with. Yeah, share it with her, too. This might bring y'all closer. But this is going to be tips that everybody can use. Um, So, yeah, follow me on Instagram at Tisha Rozelle. Follow me, y'all. I'll be trying. You know what I'm saying? I call myself a little fake model, but, you know. Yeah, so... I'm going to go from six to one with these tips. Six is going to be the least that I put in order. Everybody's different, though. And number one is going to be the most important that I think. And disclaimer, I am not a relationship coach. I'm not a therapist. I did go to school for psychology, and I do want to be a marriage and family counselor. And I will be going to get my master's soon. But, you know, disclaimer, I'm just giving you guys tips and tricks on what I've learned. Stay tuned. All right. so if you guys see me looking down, just know I have a notebook just to stay on tip because I do record from my phone so i'm gonna start from six and then the number one tip is gonna be at the end of the video so stay tuned and honey wait what am i doing thank you guys for watching me if this is your first time and if you are back thank you i love you and i appreciate you so much tip six surprise him sis us women aren't the only ones who like to be surprised. You know, like we think, oh, we see these little things on Twitter and the men put flowers on the bed and stuff like that. Surprise him, sis. If he's an athlete or even if he's not, surprise him with some tickets to his favorite basketball game, sis. Um, surprise him with a new pair of shoes. Whatever is important to him, surprise him. Or if he a rapper, support his dream. Surprise him with some paid studio time. Yes, sis, it's okay for you to pay for things with your man because I'm pretty sure if he's a king, which is who I'm talking about in these videos, his wife is always out don't be afraid to pull out your wallet sometime you know it's okay if you're a king he deserve it so surprise him fill up his gas tank hair bang here's three dollars fill up your gas tank you know what i'm saying treat him to dinner sometime when y'all out to eat bang don't pull that out i got that you know what i'm saying you just see his face light up you know because he'd be like oh wow she really love me love me you know all right tip number five keep yourself up says I've done it too so many times. I've got complacent, you know, be walking around with my meat meals all the time. It's like that. No, sis, keep yourself up. Keep your nails done. Keep your feet done. You will be surprised on how guys pay attention to stuff like that. Like, some guys would be like, the first thing I look at on a female is when she walk up to me, it's her feet. You know, sis, keep them feet done. Now, during the winter, if you want to bloom yourself, save a little corn, that's cool. But in the summertime, you're going to have them out. Keep your feet done. Keep your nails done. Keep your eyebrows done. And you even got to put on makeup all the time, you know? Because, like, most men like the natural look. So if you do a little slight beat like this once in a while, when he come home, surprise him, sis. Remember the other day, you know what I'm saying, my little boo came over, and I had some lingerie on. I didn't tell him about it. I didn't do nothing. He came over, had lingerie on. You know, little things like that, sis, because you got to understand, men, they see women on Instagram. They're working with women, and they're around beautiful women all the time. So you don't want him coming home to you and your, and your grandmom's, you know what I'm saying, t-shirt. 
and his, and his shorts all the time. Now, I'm not saying you got to dress up every day. Come on now. Everybody's busy. Nobody got really time for that. But sometimes surprise him with something sexy. You know what I'm saying? Because men, they're very visual. Give him something good to look at once in a while and surprise him with it. You know what I'm saying? Surprise him with it. That's going to really ignite the spark back in your relationship. And if you lost it, I promise you that's going to bring it right back, sis. And keep yourself up to also going to the gym, working out. Not saying you have to go to the gym all the time. I'm busy too. I don't have time. I work two jobs. I don't got time for that. But I do try to stay in the gym because you know you want to keep it right, nice and tight. You know? And plus working out is good for your for your mental anyway. So work out, eat right, just keep yourself up and don't forget to take care of your mental health as well. Because if you're not sane mentally and if you're not okay mentally, it's going to show in all your relationships. So sis, take care of your mental health as well. And, it, and if you need help, talk about it. Don't be afraid to talk about what you're going through because you'll be surprised what a lot of women go through. Tip number four, cater to him, sis. Cater to him, sis. And I know, you know, you like, I ain't what? I be tired, I work, da, 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 da. And that's okay, he works too. Now we're talking about the kings, not the fuckboys no more. Kings, they deserve to be catered to just how we do. They deserve a hot plate, you know what I'm saying? A couple of times a week, not saying every day. You know, a couple of times a week, are his clothes, sis. You know what I'm saying? I know you like, girl, we in 2019, who got time for that? No, you'd be surprised. It'd be the little things. Are his clothes. Um, text him that you appreciate him. You know what I'm saying? We take out the trash. Oh, we come back in. Give him a nice big kiss and hug, bae. Thank you for doing that. Yes, is it his job? Yes. But still, you can still show appreciation, cater to your man. You know what I'm saying? Give him a massage after you get out of the shower. You know, don't even ask him. Just go do it. You know? Cater to your man, sis. Because I think in our relationship and in our generation, a lot of our grandmothers and mothers didn't teach us how to cater to our men. And we need to do that. Wash his clothes, sis. Wash his clothes. Fold them up. It's not going to kill you, you know. And you're supposed to be there to make his life better and vice versa. He's supposed to be there to make your life better. So, you know, you shouldn't have an issue with folding his clothes and washing his clothes if he's paying for bills and taking you out all the time. That's not going to hurt you, baby. Like, a lot of times, us women, we want these great relationships, but we don't want to put in no work for them. A relationship is work from the beginning to the end. It's work. So, you know, wash his clothes, iron his clothes, have him a hot meal, give him a massage, you know, cater to him. Let him know that he's loved. You can't only say it. You got to show it, baby. You got to show it. Number three, support his dreams and vision. I think that a man's dream and his vision is very, very important to him. You know what I'm saying? That That's like a top priority for a man. From me listening to men's interviews and, you know, me reading you know, think like a man and stuff like that. A man's vision is almost the most important thing to him. So if you don't believe in his vision, still don't tell him that. You know, still speak positivity because you don't know where his life can go. You know, like encourage him every day. If he wants to sing on the side, be a rapper on the side, be a chef, be a dancer, whatever he wants to do, sis, you need to support that. And he needs to, it needs to be vice versa. But support his vision because a man without a vision is not a man. Like, what, what direction is he going if he doesn't have a vision? And sometimes he's going to get discouraged and he's going to need you to be that angel in his ear that's going to motivate him. You know, because at the end of the day, all he's really trying to do is, you know, impress you. So if you motivate him when he's down, that's going to give him the drive to go. Your opinion, his mother's opinion, his family's opinion, y'all opinions are the opinions who matter the most. So support his vision. You know what I'm saying? Like fund his vision. Not saying go spend all your earnings and all your tax money. No, sis. Surprise him with that. You don't know how much that will make him happy internally. Back him up. Back your man up be his rider if he's a king he deserves a rider just how you want him supporting your vision showing up to your vision and being there for you support his vision make him feel like a man if he doesn't have a vision then i'm sorry he's not a man he's a little boy you know number two respect i can spend hours on this little short story me I didn't know how to respect men for a while because I was in a relationship with a lot of little boys, men who disrespected me, didn't respect me. So, you know, like after a while, I'm just like, man, fuck these niggas. Like, I don't know how to respect a man. I didn't see my mom respect my dad. They they got a divorce. So, you know, little factors like this alter in, you know, you not respecting a man. You might think you do, sis, but in all actuality, do you really respect your man? 
ask yourself that question because if if you don't have respect in your relationship it's it might last but it's not going to be healthy and, and now we're trying to have you know we're trying to have healthy relationships all 2019 and forever so you have to respect your man you know what i'm saying when y'all communicate and don't yell at him don't raise your voice at him don't curse at him whatever you don't want him saying to you you don't need to be saying to him and i know it's more it's it's, it's easier said than done you know and i'm still not perfect at this i want y'all thinking i'm perfect i'm not i'm working on myself every day but respect is very important you know because if you can't respect your man you can't you know submit to your man and us women we have to learn how to submit too especially us black strong women i'm here with y'all because i'm very independent very strong but i realize if i can't submit to my man how how is he going to lead a man can't lead if you can't submit to him and you can't submit to a man if you don't respect him sis and you might have issues with it it's going to take time it's not going to happen overnight you know but respect oh i would want him to respect me i love this man you know if he's a king he definitely deserves respect you know so y'all need to learn how to communicate right no yelling no cussing no swearing you know what i'm saying like don't disrespect him and call him out his character you know and just learn how to submit and i'm in this process too you know but just remember you cannot submit without respect and there will not be a healthy relationship and your love will not grow if you don't respect your man period number one the most important which is the most difficult to do if you ask me or any woman who's ever been cheated on trust your man you do not understand how not trusting a man really makes the relationship misery it makes him feel like he's in jail to be honest with you you know every time he looked to the right look to the left oh what you looking at what you doing who oh what what you looking at her ass what you think she cute da, 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 da. sis and i used to do it too i ain't gonna lie but you gotta have security and confidence in yourself he's walking down that mall he's walking down that street with you for a reason he's not with her okay he's going to look men a men are visual like i said but you know as long as he don't touch honey and as long as he's not violating with the looks you know five second look ten second look cool but don't show your insecurity with a man men love confident women you know confidence turns a man on and a woman just how we like we love confident men you know it's the same with them you have to trust your man and it's going to be hard it's going to be you know especially if you're like me and who had a very nasty past with other men it's going to be hard to trust him but if you don't trust him you shouldn't be with him anyway y'all shouldn't even be in a relationship do not get in a please listen to me and understand me do not get in a relationship if you do not trust your man because it's not going to work if you don't trust your man you need to f deal with your reasonings on not trusting men and then you know work towards a relationship with him because i've done it i've been with men who i don't trust and it just got worse and worse and worse you know what i'm saying nothing good can come out of you not trusting your partner he out with his boys and you blowing up his phone about to pull up i've been there i've done that you know he's he's late from work because he had to stop by and get gas and you're calling his phone cussing him out because he's not home the normal time he's home sis no 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 trust your man and the right man for real for real all bullshit aside the right man is gonna help you trust him the right man is gonna make you want to trust him the right man is not gonna give you no questioning you know no questioning no second doubts no nothing so just know if your man is having you second guess something you know if it's really not you and your insecurity sit, take take a step back and ask yourself what signs is he showing you you know what signs is he showing you that you shouldn't be trusting him and if you if he's showing you signs why are you with him i'm gonna let y'all answer that but yes this is the end of the video six signs or six things that you can do to keep your man happy like i said comment down below and let me know if you agree if you disagree and comment down below which one was your first tip i mean what's your favorite you know tip like which one are you going to use in your relationships sis? let me know because i practice these in my relationship every day so y'all yeah, love you guys thank you for watching comment subscribe and come back and see your favorite again Mwah.